we should be kicking in knocking off I think action for Assange was going live but we're going live at the same time we've got auto hosting on so hopefully we're kicking in I did a little reboot there we are nice 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 or re refresh the page good morning everyone hope you're doing well today is Saturday October 10th 2020 and this is Chisho welcome to my channel today is a comic book reading day and for today we're gonna read Kit Colt Outlaw number 107 okay from Marvel Comics from the Silver Age of Comics cover art by Jack Kirby the pencils by Jack Kirby inks by Dick Ayers the story here is by Stan Lee the artwork by Dick Ayers and Jack Keller okay so this is what we are going to read today there's no polls there's no competition between what we're going to read this is the last of the comics that we picked a few months ago that we've gone through I think initially we picked five and we kept on introducing new comics new comics until we dwindled it down to kit cold outlaw number 107 now until uh, people start rolling in uh, notifications start going out let me do my little intro and I have a couple of announcements that I want to make regarding a couple of books actually so this is sort of related to the book club but I don't think I'm gonna store this in the book club uh, playlist that we have on uh, YouTube I'm just gonna make a couple of announcements uh, a couple of things that came on okay uh, aside from that if you want to know what this is all about I'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chy C H O. If you want to support this work, if you want to follow this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. You can follow the work, and after a while, if you think this project is worth supporting, supporting this work through Patreon is a fantastic way to make sure we continue doing what it is that we are doing. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E, Catholic Traditionalist. How are you doing? Good morning, folks. I hope all is well. Going well, brother. Going well. Loving these sets of live streams. And, gang, if you want to follow this work live as we're doing the readings and participate in the discussion, where you see it happening here in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who've been following this work supporting this work subscribing to the twitch channel and the mods thank you very much for the support and for being here uh, it's fantastic okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gap and twitter thank you for the follow taco Ew. Ew -ew -ew. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that. Ooh. <laughs> I do pronounce these live streams on that on those platforms 30 minutes before we go live for scheduled live streams and a few minutes before we go live for unscheduled live streams every now and then that I can get one in and I might be able to get one in tomorrow. Okay, and all the links will be in the description of this video and they are available as a command. Let's check it out. Social Boop. as a command on uh twitch so you can at any time go to the twitch channel that we have twitch.tv forward slash chicho live and type in exclamation mark social and the links will pop up for those platforms okay for live streams we do not have any visuals the audio will be loaded onto soundcloud as a podcast hello hannah how are you doing zane how is life good morning good morning good morning friends good morning hannah I do upload the audio to SoundCloud when we don't have any visuals involved for these live streams. And those podcasts are available on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. And they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this video to both BitChute and YouTube. It's a comic book reading and Marvel Comics G-rated general rate it and uh, it will go on both those platforms and you can support this work on those platforms by 
following by liking by sharing by commenting and turning on notifications and if uh, you're on youtube there should be some kind of subscribe button here and you can support this work through youtube membership and thank you very much for those of you who've been supporting this work through youtube membership aside from that gang uh, welcome to another live stream now there's a couple of announcements i wanted to make um but i might wait just to make sure if notifications have gone out i'm not sure if they've gone out yet or not so we'll, we'll give it a couple of more minutes one of them is uh well i might just get into it right now why not we got no polls going on right no comic readings that we're going to do okay so and i'll announce it again speedy gonzalez style when more people come in if more people come in um but i might since i have this set up done okay i might tomorrow if i get a chance and so far anything that we've said maybe we'll do um we've been able to do but again it's not a hundred percent it's not scheduled i might do a reading of dm turner dm turner's saddle doran the psychedelic essence of salvia divinorum tomorrow i'm not sure how much of this we're going to get through uh, this is this and the other book elfita how are you doing good morning good morning hi chicho how are you doing doing well thank you very much um this is one of the two books that dm turner has written okay and this book and the other book are the only two books that i actively collect and um, i thought maybe we do a reading of this okay i'm not sure how much we'll get through um, we'll be able to read the whole thing tomorrow i don't think so okay but i definitely want to get it started uh do some of it anyway and we'll go chronologically and just read it you know from introduction and whatnot and look at the look at the intro pages when it was published and all the ISBN num the ISBN number and whatnot right it is a rare book because after Dion Turner died his family did not allow second printings to be made they didn't agree with his lifestyle the book is available for free to be read online yeah this book as well as the other book as well okay and this book um, is an important book an extremely important book in the realm of entheogens and uh, psychonauts and uh, psychedelic world and whatnot okay so the odds are we'll probably get a chance to read this tomorrow well that's the turner book about um this book mark metals this is uh about salvador and a uh, about salvia divinorum okay uh it's an important book it's basically the first book of his type that was released regarding salvia divinorum and he went hardcore with it dm turner and this is his basically account of you know historical what salvia divinorum is and he brought he wrote this book in 1996 i believe if you look at this thing 1996 okay so uh, and i've read this thing at least twice and uh, it's the only book that i actively collect uh, and i have a handful of copies of this and i'll try to remember to bring them down and uh, we'll we'll start reading it okay and we'll see how far we get tomorrow and it's just going to be a chill reading game okay and the other announcement regarding the book uh, you know sort of book club i guess yesterday's stream the topic of irobot came in yesterday's stream or the, the stream before we were talking about uh two streams ago actually took salvia twice uh such a, a nice short trip void hook if you had if you didn't get the fear factor from salvia <laughs> you might have not crossed too far into the realm <laughs> If you if you consider salvia trip to be nice and it is nice it could be nice right uh, but there is definitely a fear fear factor about that excited about that one cool 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 mark uh and at some point by the way um i'm doing this reading on salvador and a is because at some point i'm gonna start sharing my story my experiences with salvia divinorum 
and I'm just going to call it uh, Chicho's Salvia Divinorum Chronicles and I'll make an announcement on that stuff later but on a couple of streams ago let me take down these guys uh, apologies about that let me take this down this down this down this down and this down okay now a couple of streams ago when we we're talking about conspiracy theories and aliens and stuff like this um, it was like 15 minutes of pure laughter then I saw James <laughs> from my arms to the ground oh yeah you crossed Lloyd you crossed right and you got the sweats and the uh, just sweating like mad did you get the twist happening and whatnot right now a couple of streams ago we we're talking about aliens and conspiracies the topic of uh, you know if we're living in a simulation a AI and stuff came up right and uh, someone mentioned that Asimov's story I robot the book I robot and it's a compilation of uh, a bunch of uh, I guess AI stories Asimov wrote in 1950 but I remembered I robot being before that and I didn't realize I robot was Asimov I thought I went wait a second I, that didn't ring a bell of, of it being Asimov because Endo binder okay in 1939 and Endo Binder is a pseudo name for uh, the uh, two brothers that they mashed up the names and they came up with Endo Binder there was a pen name right they wrote a story I robot in 1939 right so that's the one I remembered I didn't realize Asimov had a book called I robot and I sort of looked up looked it up uh, this morning and I found out that Asimov didn't want to call that book I robot because he knew about Endo Binder's story of iRobot. He actually wanted to call his book uh, Robots and Brains or something like this. Um, and the editors called it iRobot. And Asimov's iRobot is actually more famous than Endo Binder's iRobot. But Asimov gives tribute to this story for his idea of writing. And um, the, he wrote a first story I forgot what it was called it was a robot story it was a name and then he went into the iRobot stuff right Elfida Chicho sorry a bit off topic I'm going to make my first liqueur ever these days and was wondering if you could recommend a fruit as it is my first time thanks into that the, the the easiest fruit uh, Fida to make liqueur with and it, it's done really fast is strawberries i found strawberries they were ready within three weeks uh, to start sampling so strawberries is good lemon is pure medicinal i drank the lemon liqueur i love the lemon liqueur i've never since i started making liqueur like a while ago <laughs> I, uh, actually no i started ma making lemon uh started making liqueurs with blackberry liqueur right like over 20 years ago uh, but uh, so I've never been without blackberry liqueur and blackberry liqueur is amazing uh, and lemon liqueur is amazing and void hook says peach and I've never made peach liqueur I've made apric apricot and apricot is delicious as well uh, Catholic traditions a number of Asimov stories from iRobot were previously published in several magazines uh, several example Robbie yeah that's the one I'm thinking about Robbie well, were published as early as 1940 yeah and Catholic traditionalists from what I read and I took it from wiki so I take it with a grain of salt Asimov's Robbie was put together after Asimov read I robot so I believe endo binders I robot from 1939 was the catalyst sort of inspiration for Asimov to write write Robbie so I that's the first uh, sort of thing that I got off that I haven't dug down any deeper if you do end up uh, digging down any deeper please let us know on discord okay but from what I understand this is the one that kicked everything else into uh, motion and at some point I think we're gonna read this we read the weird science uh, EC comic the second story of iRobot that they um, took the story and turned into comic book for and they did a comic book adaptation of it right so before you know not before but it was a lot common to uh, uh, very common to take stories that were written by word 
and adapt them into comic books the same way that a lot of books in modern age i guess right in the last 50 years have been adapted into movies right so i thought that was pretty cool uh that's an interesting historical uh thing that was uh really interested me that, that i dug down in the last couple of days uh which piqued my interest spider-man hello hello mr izakaya how are you doing hello all not guava don't ever do guava mr izakaya says guava is brutal for liqueur vita <laughs> cool thank you very much catholic traditions that is correct asimov was inspired by binder to write robbie awesome so that is correct yeah cool 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 i think we're gonna have a read through that this at some point if this gave inspired Asimov, we need to read it, <laughs> right? Like, like this is two books, right? That we just mentioned. This has inspired many a psychonauts, me included. This book is an, is an inspiration to psychonauts throughout the globe, right? And it is an extremely important book. Uh, Salvador and A, The Psychedelic Essence of Salvia Divinorum by D.M. Turner. We're going to read this. Maybe start it tomorrow. Maybe. Not guaranteed. Okay. And I don't know what time. And this book, I, Robot by Endo Binder, inspired how many stories by how many people about AI and uh, artificial intelligence and robots and androids and stuff including asimov so i think this requires reading as well uh indeed 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 now i'm all excited <laughs> so so bad guys tastes like dirt oh that's the guava uh void hook i got wasted yesterday and went to the smoke shop to cop a cigar and smoked it most laid back experience ever awesome void you liked yeah i'm gonna by the way the second part of the uh the cigar catalog i'm gonna uh, release on bit shoot and youtube after we finish our stream as long as we have time i have a couple of students i gotta meet and if i don't do it right afterwards i'll do it later on this evening okay uh mr hezekaya also who was the first comic artist that really grabbed your attention the first comic book artist that really grabbed my attention the first comic book artist that really grabbed my attention uh writer would have been uh, chris claremont i believe it, it would have been the x-men um uh there would have been a lot of artists and writers from heavy metal magazine that really grabbed my interest uh tintin for sure when i was a kid uh, but i didn't know the artist or the writers then i just knew it was tintin right so for me it was the character tintin and the comic books from there uh, in terms of what i realized comic books could be like would have been the 1988 uh, flash series from dc comics that before that i didn't um i didn't appreciate the mature nature of comic books even though i knew some of the older comic books and some of the classic comic books but in terms of superhero it was a depressing comic book his life was so sad and he he struggled so much that uh it sort of grabbed me and then after that it just went off busily simon busily definitely alan grant uh keith giffen definitely um gaiman definitely alan moore definitely grant morrison definitely there's a fair bit uh, dave sim definitely there was a few there's a few um i can't say there's only one singular moment that really made me go oh, comic books can do so much catholic traditions by the way endo binder is actually a pen name yeah of earl and auto binder e and o binder yeah i realized that after i did the research for when we did the ec comic book reading of weird science uh, uh i believe it was weird science of the second part of the i robot story uh, which was a great fantastic read right on mr hezekiah says regarding the comic books gang let's check it out we're wow we're 20 minutes in let's do the reading are you guys good with it 
Everybody ready for a comic book reading? Let's read Kit Colt number 107. And I'm going to give my uh, intro to it as we start doing the reading. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off notifications that pop up here. And I'm going to turn off the chat. And I'm going to turn off my camera as well. Okay. That way we just get the full experience of the comic book read. So let me do this. Take off notifications. And then I'll come back after the reading as before. Okay. Uh, take off the chat. And I'm going to take down my video. See you soon. Dang. Okay. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. And for today's reading, we're reading Kit Colt Outlaw number 107. Okay. And this is a comic from 1962. And uh, the creator of this comic is Pete Tomlinson, or the character Kit Colt is Pete Tomlinson. And the artwork was done when Kit Colt first came on stage with Kit Colt. Uh, uh, hero of the West number one from 1948 the artwork then was done by Sid Shores right so this is a continuation of that series it's just a name changed right and Kit Colt is credited by being the longest running cowboy uh, comic book series of all time it went from 1948 ran from 1948 to 1979 so 31 years kit colt was a regular on the comic book stands on the spinner racks and magazine stands and whatnot it went through a period where they did uh some uh, what do you call it uh basically reprinting some of the previous issues and whatnot and from 1948 to 1962 which is when this issue came out so 14 years later this issue came out and this issue the artwork that you see here the pencils is done by jack kirby okay the inks is done by dick Ayers. and the story in this comic book is written by stan lee all the stories there are multiple stories in here written by stan lee and the artwork is done by jack keller and dick Ayers. okay and this is a comic book by the way that we grabbed in a comic book hall it's graded at good okay and we paid a dollar uh, sorry 1850 canadian for it okay 1850 Canadian did you've come middle age in the end of the series Catholic tradition I don't know and I found out they killed Kit Colt in 2000 okay middle age book balances his checkbook funny I'm just reading some of the chat right now gang and then once we get into the reading uh, I'll just focus on the comic right but from what I understand they ended up killing kill uh, Kit Colt in 2000 which is very surprised about right spot of tea welcome welcome so again this is graded at two good would i grade this higher check it out this is the back cover The staples are still attached are they attached yep they're still attached and there's no chunks missing from this so personally i would give this and it's got split there right so this thing supposedly knocks the grade down a fair bit when you when you get this happening uh would i give this a two yeah on the low end i would either give it anywhere between two 2.5 to three right uh, but fantastic and there is uh the signature check this out signature of kirby and heirs right jack kirby and dick Ayers, awesome so signed and obviously from 1962 comic could book code approved 
and what does it say uh the most fantastic the most fantastic western adventure of all time the giant monster monster of midnight valley right the monster is lifting me into the air by some strange power i'm completely helpless kit colt says what is this guy i guess that's a spaceship monster spaceship maybe All right, and the horse is freaking out again beautiful artwork by Kirby <laughs> got to love the monsters eh? got to love the monsters so let's flip through this see what we got oh look at this ad and I haven't read the story yet lots of muscle like bodybuilding has been huge for a long long time right skinny or fat 15 20 30 or 40 years of age just rush me your last chance uh, chance coupon below with your name and address on it and I'll show you absolutely free how to gain up to 50 pounds mighty muscles I gained 60 pounds the skinny kid says or the used to be skinny kid 60 pounds that doesn't look like 60 pounds of muscle maybe check out the before and after All right, can you focus doop, doop, doop. mailing coupon I was 125 pounds yikes he was really small six feet skinny weakling well that's good good on him All right American bodybuilder president Ben Rubholm at 50 years of age a brilliant university educator authority on creating a healthy mind and a healthy body that's good says dr. Winfield Scott Powell commander US Navy medical corps right Cool. let's read the fine print here here's a coupon by the way I'm glad they didn't cut it out let's read the fine print here kit cold is published by leading magazine Corp office of publication 655 Madison Avenue New York New York second class mail uh, privileges authorized at New York New York Additional entry at Meriden, Connecticut, published bi monthly. Copy. Doop, co copyright 1962 by Leading Magazine Corp. Uh, 655 Madison Avenue, New York, New York, Volume 1, Number 107, November 1962. Issue price 12 cent uh, per copy subscription rate dollar 70 for 12 issues including postage foreign subscription 325 in american funds no similarities between 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 any of the names characters persons and or institutions appearing in this magazine with those of any living or dead person or institution is intended and any such similarity which may exist is purely coincidental printed in the US by the Eastern color printing uh, company Waterbury 20 Connecticut and the Eastern the Eastern print uh, color printing company these guys in the golden age of comics were actually a comic book publisher as well and they were printing a huge chunk of uh, the comic books that were being printed in the golden age of comics like they were printing millions of copies a month 
of uh, comic books and they printed their own comics as well i find it weird i don't remember this should be initially this started off kid colt was uh atlas comics right precursor to marvel comics time the atlas and then marvel but i don't remember seeing leading magazine corp right copyright leading magazine corp so i wonder if kid colt was being licensed under that but it says it was published uh, leading magazine corp i don't remember all the comic books we've read i don't remember seeing leading magazine corp which is um uh, interesting good to make a little note of it should we have a read through this now this first story is written by stan lee and the pencils is by jack keller okay and he he signed it here as well jack keller so it's signed so we know who the artist is for sure and stan lee is given credit for doing the writing and uh, there's stan lee's signature right cool 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 let's have a read through this our weekend comic book reading kit colt outlaw the giant monsters of midnight valley and there's a spaceship flying cool right. let's see let's get things zooming good boy steel another few minutes and we'll be out distance that posse easy say up there in the sky what can that be rocket ship crack bang bam blam he's got a posse chasing him come on there we go let's see what the lead into the story says passing through a town in northern texas kit colt is recognized by by a deputy and the chase begins a chase which is destined to lead to lead to the most fantastic western adventure of all time and again this was a comic book haul we did on ebay right a few months ago turn off the pages let's check it out now we don't know why they're chasing kid colt but aside from being recognized i'm not sure what kid colt was up to oh it looks like the spaceship crashed it's gonna land behind yonder mountain never saw anything move so fast oh my eyes bar boom oh so that's the spaceship crashing must be reckon it must have been a falling meteor i heard tell about such things but never did see one before kit colt says well we got no time to be wor to be worrying about meteors steel boy we still got a posse to out distance finally hold it up boys it's no use nothing on four legs can catch can catch that stallion uh that stallion of that kids reckon you're right sheriff so i wonder why they were chasing him and the posse goes home beautiful western landscape what about that explosion behind the mountain a few minutes back sheriff nothing to fret about hombre 
look at that look at them clouds were most likely due for a storm that was nothing but a thunderclap and a bolt of lightning thunderclap I like that thunderclap oh there's an escape pod this is a long panel this is a reading and then look at the look at the art perhaps if this story had taken place years later when men knew of such things as spaceships this tale would have turned out differently but neither kit cole nor the posse suspected that a ship from the stars was lying smoldering behind midnight mountain escape pot little parachute nor did they suspect that the living pilot of that ship was slowly descending to earth in a strange unearthly version of a parachute about to land near his wrecked ship his shadow can't tell how big the uh, alien is from here no nobody could have suspected then and a few days later the entire incident was forgotten by all until well steel reckon we've rested up enough it's time for us to leave this part of texas now there's too many lawmen around here just itching to be the ones to capture Kit Colt. Sitting back, enjoying some, some chow. Oh, come on. Having a hard time focusing the camera. going on here looks like a carriage say who's that wagon who's in that wagon the sure riding bent for leather as though something terrible is on their tail monster ride stranger ride away from here if you value your life there's a monster loose in the valley the family just going crazy a monster kid cold says or asks wait hold on i want to hear more about this kid cold one Oh, look at the monster. <laughs> He's huge. Nice. Let's get to it. Slow down, amigo. There's no one following you. But I saw him. We all saw him. If he ever gets out of the valley, he'll kill us all, the guy says. The wife's holding the baby they're all scared if that don't beat all and yet he didn't look like he was loco he was just sure enough scared stiff
well still we've tackled gunmen owl hoots engines engines jeez stampedes and timber timber wolves but i never stood up to a monster before so let us go have a look see and there goes kit colts into the valley midnight valley nice artwork growl listen to that nothing i ever heard before could make a roar like that kid cold says well it'll take more than a noise to stop me let's go boy rides into the valley oh no it's like shocked <laughs> look at the horse's face Horace has got the same shock look as Kit Colt. And that's what they're seeing, right? The monster we saw. It it isn't possible. Kit Colt says. quick steal let's make tracks out of here while we still can more than what it was reckoned for right oh the monster was reaching for him just made it reckon he's not too big to fit through the narrow pass whatever he is it's a lucky thing he can't get through because if he ever did wait what's that he's crushing his way through he's free roar the monster comes out ranch hand luck story and an ad to sell shoes door-to-door -door shoes shoe salesman the spare time shoe business can make big money for you wow if al bundy knew eh? <laughs> precursor to al bundy so monster breaks free let's check it out what's going on He, he isn't chasing me. He's just standing there looking kind of bewildered. But what is he? Where did he come from? He couldn't have been in these parts for long or folks would have seen him Kid Cold says well, 
wait he's looking at me he's pointing to me I can't move what's happened oh this is the thing from the cover he zapped get cold and froze him <laughs> he's just picking him up off his horse the days when the covers were true to their story being told right and then the most amazing event of his entire life happened to Kit Colt he finds himself slowly rising into the air and floating in the air he says and being drawn towards the monster monstrous creature it's the monster he's somehow somehow making me float towards him but how how he says we gotta look at that whoa that's a scary face look at the fangs on him Too startled, too unbelieving to even use his gun, the kid finds himself getting closer and closer to the fright, frightening bem, bem, Bemeth until he got me. I reckon this is curtains. It's huge. But then he puts them down. But to the kid's complete amazement, he is released gently and do not fear, I will not harm you, the monster says. He 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 isn't talking, and yet I hear him. I am using something called telepathy. My brain is is speaking to your brain i come from a different world a star many many light years away but how kid cold asks let me explain i was traveling to a far distant galaxy when my ship was struck by a comet it was damaged and crashed to your planet earth I was lucky enough to escape the flaming crash by drifting to earth in a rocket powered escape chute There he is. That's the silhouette we saw. And now I must wait here until some of my fellow space travelers come to rescue me but I mean no harm no no one on earth has need to fear me phew Kit Cole says I've heard strange stories before but this beats them all Kit Cole looks funny but you know something I believe you it has to be true there can't be any other answer i wait shots crack i sense other earthlings the monster says Oh, 
past that guy on the horse and carriage see I told you there he is kill him hurry oh man you were right hombre and look the monster caught Kit Colt I got no love for that outlaw but he's a human being we can't let some creature like that get him look what what's the kid doing what is the kid doing so they're just firing at the, the monster and kid Colt he's shooting back at us he's siding with the monster zing wing he must be loco or maybe the monsters forcing him to do it quick use the power of yours to make them float away from you before you get shot they think you're dangerous they'll try to kill you I cannot it is very difficult by making you float towards me I have exhausted my power for at least one of your days uh oh well then take cover somewhere I'll try to hold him off I can't let him shoot you I've got to I've got to find some way to explain to them bang, bang. you could flee you could flee to safety on that four-footed beast of yours but still you remain to risk your life for me why because I'm a fool kid cold said most likely now get back those bullets ain't kidding ping 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 by firing in their direction I can hold them off for a spell but my ammo won't last forever what will I do after it's gone kid calls stop listen to me he isn't dangerous he just needs help listen if only they could hear me kid cold says then just at that split second a stray bullet fat fatally hits the legendary outlaw hero oh there's a bullet ricocheting off the rocks in the back shot kid colt I, I got the kid i didn't mean to kill him hurry now's our chance to go after the monster the sheriff says look at the expression on their faces But before the posse can reach the valley he gave his life to save mine the monster says the least I can do the least I can do to repay him is to rub some of my life-giving lotion on his wound it can restore life if the heart has not stopped too long look the monsters got the kid's body quick the least we can do is get the kid a decent burial oh the posse is just totally clueless they're coming where are they they're so far away the camera is not focusing <laughs> there they are Oh, he's rubbing the lotion on his chest. It totally looks like a kind monster. And then suddenly, roar. 
Look up. Look up above. What is it? The boss is looking up. Stunned into a state of shock by the fantastic sight which greets their eyes, the posse halts, thunderstruck as they see. We are fortunate we have found our fellow space traveler. You have come just in time, the monster says. How's Kit Colt doing? Oh, he's still unconscious. Before I go, I shall drive the memory of all of this from the humans' minds. It will be best for them. What what happened? That's Kit Colt waking up. Oh, they're not even gonna remember what happened. The monster's huge though, eh? There's a posse, there's the spaceship, and there's Kid Cold going the opposite direction. Com completely well again, thanks to the miraculous power of the alien's lotion, the kid leaps upon his uh, stallion, and there's the posse in the hills above. Well, they'll never catch us, steel boy. We have too big a lead. Let's ride, amigo. Hold it, men. Let the kid go. We'll never get him now. Huh. That's like a deja vu. Their lives will be as they were before, before. None will remember what, what has happened. And yet, some earthlings should be told of the heroism of the one called Kilt, Kit Colt. Someday I shall return and see that they learn what took place here this day oh that's what the monster says let's check out editor's note you may wonder how we know of the story well not long ago a few sheets of paper were dropped in the window of the office of kit colt magazine those pages contained this story written in a strange unearthly looking hand we do not know how they got in got in through the open window except that we heard strange thunderous roar and seemed to see a silver speck disappear disappearing into the vastness of infinity what was that silver speck well we'll let you be the judge <laughs> check that out there's a cold poster in the let me see if i can get this Flat enough. Kid Cold Outlaw. The end. Fun story. The kicker is if the monster was deleting everybody's memory that was that was with within his vicinity, what about the family of the guy? The wife's gonna go, what happened with the monster? And the old man's gonna go, I don't know, what monster? What are you talking about? amazing new home training plan in air conditioning and refrigerators we've seen these before right the exclusive cti cti what does cti stand for CTI learn and practice method which enables many students to to earn money in spare time as they train for a, a top pay job uh, or their own business for over 50,000 graduates I guess that's the school of CTI oh commercial Commercial Trades Institute, that's what CTI stands for. Chicago. Commercial Trades Institute. What's this? Graduates Praise Training. 
quote I started my own business earned from 800 to 900 a month Dale Land Landsberg Oklahoma have gone into trucking uh, refrigeration my wages have tripled Jane West Minnesota I quit my $75 a week job and I'm now making $120 a week in a refri refrigeration shop Roy Goldsworth Wyoming I'm a repairman and earn $200 a month over what I used to Albert Baum Illinois <laughs> fun next one again this is a story by Stan Lee and the art by Jack Keller So Stan Lee and Jack Keller. Let's see what this is all about. The second story. When the kid was a teenager, the boy who was afraid. Let's see what this says. Our tale begins a few days after Blaine Colt had turned 16 when he walked When he walked through the streets of town of town wearing his first six shooter proudly at his side and and then hold it Colt I want to talk to you here's the full panel so we see what's going on let's see what the story is Oh, oh, pear is like pear is like the kid. Pear is like the kid is in for a peers like the kid is in is in for a heap of trouble. Yeah, Hogan never wants to talk to no one unless he's looking for a fight. Wild Joe Hogan, Kid Cole thinks, sounds like he's plump itching for a shootout. poster of a beer come on in and have a drink nice stogie he's got a six shooter beside him ivory handle most likely take a look white I noticed you're wearing a real man's gun on your on your hip, Sonny. I don't like for little boys to walk around with all that hardware. Ain't no concern of yours. What I do, Hogan. Oh, so you're. So you're insulting me in front of all these people, are ya? You know what that means, don't ya? Take cover, everyone's jumping out of the way. Get out of there. He's going for his gun. Crazy. Don't do it, Wild Joe. I don't want to draw against ya well that's the first sensible thing you said all day all all you got to do is admit you're afraid say it loud and clear and then maybe i'll let you live for a spell oh he gives in kid cold i'm i'm afraid he says bows his head Look at that, he's not looking for a fight at all. Oh, I always I always known you was a you was yellow, and now I'll show you what I do to yellow bellies. But you're lucky I won't shoot you. I'll just mess up mess you up a little. Oh look at that, he's going for a fist fight. 
stay back Hogan I realize now that I've got to stop you hombres like you think you can walk all over anyone smaller or weaker When I said I was afraid, I told the truth, but I wasn't afraid of being shot. Where'd that gun come from? He just drew his gun, Speedy Gonzalez style. Never saw a draw like that in my life. Huh? Hogan's all shocked. Caught by surprise. Let's see. it's a cigar too let's check this out save your speeches kid you just guaranteed yourself a place in boot hill he's going for his gun crazy bam you call that a draw wild joe a man could fall asleep waiting for you to reach your gun blam shoots his gun now I'll tell you what I was afraid of Hogan but first let's get rid of that smelly weed haha <laughs> bang shoots it out of his mouth blam smelly weed that might be great weed if it smells check that out he's little eh Look at the size difference and Hogan's got his hands bent or knees bent his guns on the ground check that out I was afraid of hurting you I don't figure you're important enough to waste a bullet on and I'm a peace loving gent but being here you're so determined to have rumpus why don't you pick up your your gun again no no he says hogan says no no he's good i'll never hold an iron again if a teenager sh teenage uh, shaver can outdraw me i'll never fight again i'm through fighting forever smart guy smart guy rides away just a simple incident in the average day in the old untamed west just another page for the exciting records of the west's most famous hero kit colt if colt can use a gun like that when he's 16 just imagine when he's a man mark my words boys folk folks will be hearing about that hombre someday they sure will and that's the rumor starting and everyone coming after a little bit of action of kid cold uh, trying to be famous the end one thousand and one things that you can get free one thousand and one things you can get for free this list tell you where to send for free samples books foreign stamps and coins etc complete list for only 6.99 plus six dollars postage and handling total of 75 cents special offer 1001 things for free wow it ain't too free is it special offer what's this one special offer get both valuables valuable list for only one dollar what's the second valuable list work at home there you go selling shoes work at home over 100 proven money making ideas 1962 this is the advertisement we saw in the comic books which wasn't just for kids right 
bike bonanza of big buys bike bonanza of big buys let's check this out jolly roger bike flag novel attractive safe safety and ornamental fender flap with two red safety reflectors oh that's cool you get the red reflectors that's good 75 cents camera headlight and directionals here's a combination power powerful headlight and flash flashing direction directional signal made of shining chrome plate that really works a flick of the hand switch and your directional signal lets them know which way you're turning huh. oh these are all for bikes check out this <laughs> it's got a windshield it's a wind it's a bike windshield look at this thing oh my god what how fast is that kid riding his bike bike windshield turn your bike into something really special with this clear transparent bike windshield just like the one on motorcycles handy built-in pouch enables you to keep your sunglasses tools and personal reflectors within easy reach really makes your bike different no kidding i think you might get beat up if you had that on your bike and man the drag on the bike you you'd be exercising like mad look at the guy's kid's face yeah looks arched though so the wind resistance wouldn't be that bad i guess cool bike speedometer rear rear mirror bike machine gun what check this out where is it bike machine gun perfect plastic model of actual machine gun insert the bbs and fire away turn the crank and watch your target blasted shoot as many as you want as fast as you want turns in full circle attaches to handbars complete with 50 pellets only 75 cents get this in 2020 put it on your bike and get shot by law enforcement look at that thing by anybody really oh my god the kid's got a machine gun on his bike <laughs> Free trial. funny this is one of the funniest as we've seen bike machine gun cool 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 the one staple here is detached from the centerfold the bottom staple so the first page is detached. the centerfold the bottom staple is detached let's see who's this this has got to be dick Ayers. i think this is dick Ayers. there we go story by stan lee and art by dick Ayers. okay thundering hoofs the third story thundering hoofs let's check it out and dick Ayers was a phenomenal artist right Let's read the little intro. It was a day like most any other day as Utah Smith began his routine journey for the Pony Express. Let us follow his ride. We might find it very interesting. So this is Utah Jazz. Utah Smith, not Utah Jazz, Utah Smith. No, it looks like he might have robbed somebody. Let's check it out. Better get going, Utah. You got to be in Abilene by nightfall. And the Pony Express don't like for it its riders to be late. Keep your powder dry, hombre. Oh, got a long ride ahead of me. Ahead of you. Ahead of you. You got a ro long ride ahead of you. Oh, they're waving bye to him so he's got the pony express isn't hasn't robbed anyone 
Don't worry. Not about me, gents. I made this trip so many times that I can do it in uh, in my sleep. Hasta hasta luego. Hasta luego. Nice artwork, though. Really beautiful panel. Beautiful splash page. Look at the horse. Beautifully drawn. There ain't much further in riding for the Pony Express, but at least it keeps a homebrew busy. There ain't much future in riding for the Pony Express, but at least it keeps a homebrew busy. He thinks. Strange. I've been riding for over two hours and ain't seen a sign of any wildlife. No rabbits, squirrels, deer, or nothing. That can mean only one thing. There must be a pack of timber wolves somewhere around. Oh, he's got his gun draw, his rifle. I was right, he says. I was right, there they are, and they're coming for me. Timber wolves. He shot one. Stretch, stretch them long legs, boy. Them killer mean business. Horses just riding hard. Just imagine riding that hard and shooting backwards. How accurate is your shot? Only thing to do is turn off the trail and try to lose them on those cliffs. Try to lose wolves. I reckon that's impossible. Kapow! Yay! Shot another one, probably. Let's check it out. One handed. Good boy. Keep it going. Amigo, while I try to wing some of them. Uh oh, drat the luck. We're plump trapped now. Oh, they're right by a cliff. Oh, there's a timber wolf running at him. Jump it deep trouble Blam. well I can't shoot them all all of them so there's only one thing to do he jumps off the cliff wow jeez that ain't that ain't good Oh, there's a river behind under him right there, right? Either a river or a lake. That's why. Made it. He landed in the water. Splash. But no sooner does the weir rider and his mount reach the riverbank than a new danger threat uh, threatens. Engines. Oh, look at that, he's soaked as well, right? Oh my. Riding for Pony Express is damn dangerous. It's an Apache war party. Now we got no time for resting now, boy. 
Let's move. There's a bullet ricocheting off the rock. Easy boy. Look out for that gopher hole. Oh. Next panel. He goes into the gopher hole. Look out. Oh. Serious tumble. Look at that. Wreck is wrecking. This is curtains now. Wait, I hear gunfire. Ram, crack, pow, blam. A horse is done for. Poor horse. Someone drove the engines off just in time, but who? Does this answer your question, Ombre? Skull Durstein, the owl hoot. That's enough talk, Skull. Let's grab his saddlebag and shoot him before the Apaches come back. Shoot him. Shoot him before those Apaches come back. Ah, oh, he's giving up his gun. And Timberwolves, engines, and bandits. You heard? You eat my part, mister? Hand over that saddle bag, nice and easy, and we'll try to shoot you so it's so it won't hurt too much. Reckon I ain't got much choice, he says. You want the bag? So here it is. Walk. Ugh. He drops his gun. Throws the bag into his face. Blam! Didn't anyone ever tell you not to mess with the Pony Express? Man, his position on the horse is crazy. Look at that. He's all twisted up. Horse must have been startled. Hours later, a weary rider and two captive captives jog into Abilene. Here's a present for you, Sheriff. Well, well, Skull Dernstein and his sidekick. I've been looking for those two, those two side winders sidewinders he's going for his gun too look at that you're almost an hour late mister i don't want to hear no excuses just be sure it don't happen again oh look at this guy pony express depot sorry boss guess i was a i was a mite careless i'll do better next time and don't get too comfortable, you hombre. I got another ride for you at midnight. This ain't no rest home we're running. I'll be ready, boss. I'll be ready. Man. Hard life, hard life. And that was the way it is. That was the way of it. Perhaps you feel his boss was needlessly hard on Utah. Perhaps you feel Utah was wrong not to complain, but whatever your opinion, it is because of men like Utah and because of men like those he worked for that the West was won. And it is to, to such men in all sincerity that this tribute is offered. Oof. 
There's a lot of historical issues <laughs> with that. <laughs> Look, boys wanted to sell grit. What? Boys wanted to sell grit. Five cent profit, yours on every copy sold. So how much do they sell it for? 30,000 boys selling each week. No, it's fun, it's easy. Sell grit, spending, spending money, prizes. What's grit? It's not grit, it's not food. You can make $1 to $5 every week in a few hours. Start now, earning big cash profits and free prizes grit publishing so it must be something publishing something earn all the spending money you want grit is a is popular in 900,000 homes it is easy to sell you get free prizes in addition to the money you make you also gain valuable business experience to help you become a successful man i'll be glad to help you get started in this business of your own pay only for copies sold until you know how many to order papers will be sent immediately so he makes five cents per copy five cents per copy i wonder how much it was selling for each copy reward nine thousand nine hundred eighty five dollars and fifty cents for this coin what coin is this illustrated 1804 silver dollar 19,000 minted, only 12 accounted for. Where are the rest? I wonder how much this thing goes for. Really, this is the Liberty Liberty Silver Dollar, 1804 Silver Dollar. gold coins before 1929 or 10,000 back in 1962 pennies before 1919 are a thousand dollars really silver dollar before 1936 is eight thousand dollars nickels before 1945 are six thousand dollars seriously gang dimes before 1946 are five thousand half dollar before 1947 is four thousand five hundred quarters before 1941 are three thousand five hundred dollars half cents before 1910 are three thousand five hundred dollars lincoln pennies before 1940 are two hundred dollars oh my god what anybody got change you want to go through find any of these things nickel before 1945 dime before 1946 And that's back in 1962 so what would they be going for now oh this is the story that was continued from earlier here's classifieds right stamps shop by mail whole bunch of stuff song ideas wanted poems be taller do you want to be taller poems wanted terrific stamp bargain hypnotize yourself or others cool here's the last story and this one should be by stan lee and jack keller so jack keller did most of the artwork in this there's only one piece the last piece that was done by the cares right and the inks for the cover were, were done by the cares okay. oh look at this sabotaging a bridge the train tracks wow catholic traditionists on a live stream feed is saying that a 19 18 or four dollars sold for four million dollars in 1999 so this thing in 1962 right oh 
what is this oh this this is the one sorry this thing was check this out so this coin reward not for this coin five i don't know what this stands for five hundred thousand dollars search for rare coins i don't know what five hundred thousand dollar search is but it looks like reward nine thousand so ten thousand dollars for this coin illustrated 1984 silver dollar okay so silver dollar i'm assuming these guys were paying ten thousand dollars for and uh from a twitch live stream catholic tradition says in 1999 it sold for four million dollars now that was a phenomenal investment right that was a phenomenal investment i'll keep my eye out for him <laughs> kit cold our fourth story kit cold outlaw doom around the bend doom around the bend the warring apache nation was outnumbered and outarmed by the white men their only way of fighting back was by employing guerrilla warfare method methods this is the story of one such method sabotaging the railroad lifeline to to the west it is also story of how kit colt was prepared to give his life to save the train this kit colt watching them sabotage the train Nice shadow work. There's the Apache sabotaging the train. Oh, they're cutting it down with their axes. See that? They're just making it weak. So they're not using bombs. Let's check out what Kill Colt says. It's a lucky thing we were riding by this way, Steel Boy. We've got to warn the train that those Apaches weaken the trestles. Trestle, if the Abilene Express ever passes over the, that gorge, it'll mean the end of the train and, and all its passengers. Supply train comes soon, one of the Apaches says when train go over trestle train will be destroyed without supply train pale faces will be at mercy of apache apaches in this land if i take this hidden path i should be able to reach the train without the apache seeing me Gold says. Hold it still. Looks like we won't have to worry about being seen. They're so sure of themselves that they're riding away. They must figure that nothing can save the train now. Well, they're due for a little surprise, eh, boy? We made it. There's the train yonder. It says. Nah, oh, he's got his hat in his hand. Trying to get the train's attention. Right. When they see me waving this way, they'll know something's wrong look a rider trying to flag us down the engineers say
wait a minute that ain't just any ordinary rider that there's kit colt the outlaw damn he's most likely trying to hijack the train then he must be loco he's one hombre against all of us that's the conductor That Jasper ain't loco. He's probably got a plan. Maybe he's got some more owl hoots riding, waiting to ambush us if we stop. They're firing at me. They must have. They must have realized, recognized me. Crack, crack. Bullets flying past them. stop hold your fire i'm trying to help you this ain't a hold up stop no use they can't hear me i'll up uh, my shoulder i wing them oh there's bullets hitting the ground right there and the cliff wall as well look at that flying riding into a hail of bullets the fools they'll get getting closer and closer to the trestle my shoulders throbbing like I'll get out but I reckon that can't wait I've got to uh, figure out a way to stop the train no use no more time the trestles just around the bend there's only one thing left to do, he says. What's he got planned? What's he got planned? What's he got planned? Ride, steel boy. Ride like you never rode before. I've got to reach the trestle way ahead of the train. Ride, amigo. what's he up to now he's racing to have the train don't take your eyes off him he's like a grizzly he's more dangerous than ever when he's wounded you did it boy now this is where we part company what i've got to do now i've got to do alone he's running through running towards the trestle just hope those engines weakened in enough so that even my weight will make it collapse before the train reaches it it's getting loose it's about to crumble oh it's just from the rattle of the train coming closer look at that look part of the trestle is collapsing and the kid is on it the conductor says If I miss, I'm a goner. Look at that. The kid saves himself with his lasso by swinging over to the other side of the cliff. Too bad. The vermin must have been trying to wreck the train, but his plan misfired. Well, well, we got work to do let's get out and fix that trestle wow that'll be seriously lots of work to fix that trestle now steel boy let us go and find me a doctor i hope what i did will square me a little in the eyes of those hombres on the train 
No, they think he's, he did the stuff. What does that say? But alas, due to the irony of fate, the very men whose lives he had saved think the kid had tried to murder them. But Kit, Kit Colt still was destined to find his ultimate reward in the tales and legends which he left behind. The end. Awesome. That was a good read. Kid Cold is a nice guy. What's up with uh, being an outlaw? I don't know the story behind why Kid Cold is an outlaw. Uh, he seems like a nice guy. Maybe he just killed the wrong person or defended himself with the wrong person. And V62P, uh, you're on Twitch. Thank you very much for the bits. And as far as my accent goes, I am in the west coast of Canada. And welcome to our live stream by the way what is this advertisement boys men my secret new dynaflex method oh here we go my secret new dynaflex method can build you a magnificent new he-man muscled body in just 10 minutes a day with absolutely no weights no barbells no exercise at all <laughs> there you go become a he-man with no weights no barbells and no exercise at all none at all yes if the girls laugh at you now when you take off your shirt they'll be breaking down the door to get dates with you <laughs> hilarious <laughs> you pay 9.98 complete nothing else to buy 998 complete nothing else to buy yeah mike marvel what is this guy boys girls men women if you know just 20 people oh this is like the thingamajiggy you can make at least fifty dollars more likely 100 to 200 dollars in your spare time everyone you know needs christmas cards and everyone loves wallace brown cards so you're selling christmas cards to everybody you know learn radio television electronics by practicing at home in your spare time fast growth offers you high pay prestige bright future and this would have been like new technology right this would have been new technology coming in so this was pretty much on the forefront and these ads were running i believe in the 1950s as well so tv i can't remember when tv started becoming mass market uh, in the united states and canada but might have been a good career to go into so all of these ads weren't bad right and we've seen this before the art school albert dorn right i think we looked at this uh, uh either last reading or the reading before right cool it was a fun read nice cowboy read i like the alien story the alien story was fantastic nice alien right i hope you enjoyed gang kid cold outlaw number 107 for marvel comics written by stan lee cover art pencils by dick air by jack kirby inks by dick airs artwork by dick airs uh inside and jack keller dick airs did one of the stories and jack keller did three of the stories i'm going to turn off turn my camera back on and turn on chat uh ba -da -ba -ba -da 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 -da. again v62p thank you very much for the bits i'm going to turn on my camera and the little box around it fun fun read really nice weekend read right and i like the advertisements on this sorry pop god battered and still is yeah elder god i can imagine if they're locking you guys down Ontario in Canada actually just announced that they want uh, restaurants and pubs and clubs to close in I think five or six cities right cool
cool. And I like these uh, bags as well. They have their own little sticky on them. They're not bad. And again, this was a comic book haul we did uh, a few months ago uh, that we bought. And it's graded at good too. And I would be, give it a two grade now that I'm flipping through it. Okay. So flipping through it, I would say a two, two and a half. Right. And uh, we paid uh, 1850 Canadian. So that would come out to around 1450 US. Actually, a little bit less, probably around fourteen dollars US, fourteen fifty US, let's say, right? Which is a pretty good price for this. Uh, I don't know what this thing goes for. If it's like mid grade, because this is low grade, I know low grade goes for more than that. Well, it goes for at least that much because we paid that much. Uh, but mid grade for this goes into the hundreds. Uh, so it's a good read, fun read, fun read. That was good. That was good, and our timing is not bad. So, just for those of you who are watching right now who showed up, I might be doing an unannounced live stream, okay, or an unscheduled live stream tomorrow where we're going to read some of Salvadoran, The Psychedelic Essence of Salvia Divinorum by DM Turner, okay. And as I mentioned before, DM Turner wrote two books, okay, and they're out of print and they will not be returning to print because dm turner passed away um under certain circumstances and his family disagreed with his lifestyle of psych like psycho not right and they refused to take his books into second printing but the books are available for free to be read online but uh, i just recently got this copy and we got this at an amazing price i ended up buying this including shipping for like 20 dollars us you're it's hard to find this book for less than 100 right and this is sort of a more rougher copy right so I thought we would read it okay so I'll see if I can make time tomorrow I'll read it if not if I don't do it tomorrow we're gonna read this book in its entirety at some point okay hopefully we start tomorrow and this was as far as comic book goes this was the last comic book from the last batch that we put together okay and when i'm ready to do the next comic book reading i'll probably go on our discord page and ask people what they want to read i'll pull off a few books and we'll do the same routine again probably pick five books and then run polls to see what we're going to read new batch time new batch time elder god so gang in the comic book folder on our discord page if there's certain style of comic books you would like us to read and remember we have a reading set number four that we're still going through reading comic books right so there's a whole bunch of comic books there we picked 32 that we were going to read and we've probably done about half of them no mario i got well no we don't have any we did the mario reading from that badge super mario brothers marathon <laughs> catholic traditionalist all the nintendo comics i've got that i showed you guys right uh, aside from that gang thanks for being here uh, i hope you enjoyed the reading it was fun i like these weekend reading comic book readings really uh once i you know if i don't upgrade and set something up permanently where this space is always here uh, we'll try to get one done maybe at some point in our lives uh when we cook this and in, kick this into full-time mode from my end uh, maybe we'll do a comic book reading every weekend but right now we're basically doing two comic books or last few months we've done two comic book readings per month on the weekends which is fantastic really super fun super fun to do uh aside from that uh mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for being here uh i hope you guys enjoyed everyone uh thank you for the bits uh v62p and if you want to know what this is all about i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c h y c h o and remember again on monday we're going to do our movie club live stream where we're going to pick four more movies to watch for the next month until we do our next comic book reading right or our next movie club uh discussion so on monday i forget what time it is i think it's in the morning where we're doing uh, our movie club live stream on monday 
Cheryl is camping. Cheryl is camping on the weekend. Good, 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 good. I hope she's having a phenomenal time, older God. It's the last few weekends of camping, right? It's the weather is nice here right now, but I'm assuming it's gonna start getting pretty cold soon. Okay. Uh so Monday for sure we're gonna do a movie club reading, maybe a live stream uh movie club uh, choice picking, and maybe tomorrow we read a little bit of Salvador and A. And uh, aside from that, if you want to support this work, if you want to follow this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike, gang. And for those of you who've been supporting this work through Patreon, thank you very much for your support. I hope you're enjoying the content, the content that you've contributed to for us to create, right? In large part because of your support. Uh, on Twitch, that's where we live stream. And for those of you here here who are subscribing or following through twitch thank you very much for the follows and for the bits okay and the mods thank you for taking care of business and that's twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay uh kathy just says no our scout troops camp at least once a month every month of the year really hardcore i had friends that used to go camping in the winter on glaciers I don't know if your group does glacier camping but glacier camping was serious uh, sounds cold sounds cold I never joined them for glacier camping I do announce these live streams on LO Minds VK Parlor Gap and Twitter 30 minutes before we go live for scheduled live streams and a few minutes before we go live on unscheduled live streams and we do share additional content on those platforms and all the links are in the disc in the chat right now popping up you can go to our twitch page anytime you'd like thank you catholic traditionalist and punch in exclamation mark social and the social network links will pop up okay and all the links will be description of the video after we load this on bitchute and youtube for live streams we don't have any visuals involved we do upload the audio to soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho uh and as podcasts and they should be able available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bitchute and you can support this work through youtube and bitchute by subscribing turning on notifications liking sharing and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership somewhere here button and for those of you who join youtube membership thank you for your support gang i hope you have a fantastic weekend uh if i show up tomorrow to do salvador and a maybe see you tomorrow uh most definitely we will be live streaming on monday with our movie club we're gonna pick four pick your movies come down for the show we're gonna run polls and see what we're gonna watch for the next month long live the fighters maybe we should be watching dune elder god is dune on your list is that what you're going to be recommending everybody's got my vote <laughs> Gang, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye, everyone. Does El Topo have a sequel? In comic book format, Catholic traditionalist, El Topo has. It's El Topo's son uh, in comic book format. They were going to make a movie, but it never made. It got made. So it is what it is. Maybe we buy the comics and do the reading continuation. Yes, yes, yes. Bye, everyone.